What's going on? My reefing fan, March here, Fragbox TV. I'm using the macro lens today, so it's a little bit blurry, but I want to share with you today. Ah! Look at this. This is a very not good acro crab. Well, not good for him. Um, not good for me, rather. He is living inside one of my favorite tenuous corals, and it has been looking like complete trash the last little while. Our water is pretty good. It should be looking good, but you can see here, it's just kind of like, yeah, it doesn't look very good. It's retracted. The polyps are not out. This is not what you want from a tenuous. Tenuous should be, it's a very nice coral. This is a very bad example of a tenuous, and it was beautiful. It was green with red polyps, one of my favorites. And I found this bugger living inside. So you really should dip anything you're going to add to your tank. Any sort of coral you should dip, it would kill this guy. He's not going to be able to survive a dip. I'm going to go ahead and remove him now with tweezers. I'm going to try not to hurt him. So, you know, normally remove it. Most people are going to euthanize him. You really have nowhere to put it. What I do is take this poor SOB and I just throw them in the sump or somewhere in our invertebrate system. If you're new to the channel, you don't know what I'm talking about. Hello, first of all. We are a saltwater aquarium specialty store here in Toronto in the lovely country of Canada. So this was actually in our farm system, something we would grow out and frag and farm. Oh yeah, we have really nice bounce mushrooms right now. I'm gonna do a video on these next, but not to get sidetracked, we're talking about acro crab. So if you wanna dip, I've done lots of videos on dipping. I'll link it in the description of this one. My go-to is really these two brands right here. Uh, Revive from Two Little Fishies. Thank you, Julian Sprung. Very good stuff, been using it for years. Also very good, Coral RX, the RX Pro if you want something extra strong. And then Red Sea actually has a Dip X, which is not bad. I haven't used it personally. Customer feedback has been pretty good on it. I'm gonna go ahead and take them out. I'm gonna show you what a good acro crab looks like though, because when you dip, you kill the bad. You also kill the good, unfortunately. Let me get out my macro lens one more time because I think if I try to zoom in with this, uh, you can't really, you can kind of see him. He's like a little speck. He's right there, that little white guy. Very cute with the little claws. It's called a banded acro crab. Very, very different than this SOB crab over here. Let's see if I can focus in on him. Oh, there he is. You see that? Oh, banded acro crab. So you can see where he gets the name from. These are good for the acro. They're not going to harm it. You can see here, Paul looks out. It's growing. It looks happy. All is fine and dandy. People want banded acro crabs. Sometimes they request them. You're not going to really find good or bad crabs on small frags of corals it's when you get into the colonies that you need to really look out for them if you don't want to dip because if you dip you're also going to kill this poor guy is actually really cute he's really cool look at that oh i think he's getting camera sure you don't want to be on youtube today not today sir okay he's going for a walk but anyways if you dip this coral to try and kill anything bad on it so other than uh crabs you have to look out for flatworms and red bugs there's a couple other ones out there but you're going to inevitably kill the good ones you're going to knock this guy out you're going to hurt him so if you like you could just go through with maybe a scalpel or some some sort of tweezers and look at that i found another one hold on living there he is oh let me see if i can focus sorry this is the macro lens which you guys actually bought for us there he is not good gorilla crap so i'm going to go ahead and take those two out very carefully if somebody for some reason wants these they're here in the store you can come pick them up for free i don't know why you would want a acro gorilla crab but apparently i have two of them and they are just waiting here to go to their forever home if you want it uh that's about it it's pretty straightforward they have a symbiotic relationship with the acro well at least the banded one does it lives with it and it cleans it and the acro provides refuge this one just slowly pisses it off pisses it off and kills it it eats the polyps it really has no purpose inside a reef aquarium in the ocean sure i don't know it, it it's there for whatever reason god intended to put it on the earth but i think that's it for today's video we'll say goodbye to our little banded acro crab here and today's short video if you like the content we do a video like this oh there he is it's very hard to focus with this lens we do a video like this every single day of the week for example i just shot a video about this specific coral this is an acropora millipora very cool species very popular and a little bit easier to keep than some of the other acros you would know that if you watched our videos and you subscribe if you don't want to subscribe that's okay too we'll just do this again tomorrow and come back to the channel have a nice day wherever you're watching from this has been another video from fragbox tv